Matthew Ingram is the chief digital writer for the Columbia Journalism Review and has been following all of Elon's moves with Twitter over the last few months. Matthew, with everything that's happened just in the past 24 hours, what can the actual users of Twitter expect to see from the social media giant in the near future? <laughs> that's a really good question. Uh, and I wish I knew. Um, honestly, I've been following this from the beginning. And I, I honestly don't know what to expect, and I'm not sure anyone does. To be honest, I'm not even sure Elon knows what he's going to do with Twitter. Um, I guess that's part of what makes it so interesting. We get to watch and see what he does. It's probably why he's constantly trending online. He reveals just bits and pieces, sometimes in a cryptic way, and just everyone weighs in. Yeah, and I think he's, he's made a whole bunch of comments um, since he first expressed interest. You know, he wants it to be a free speech platform. He's concerned about it being kind of the public square for the world and lots of sort of, you know, high flying promises about what he wants it to be. But at the end of the day, it's also a business. And so I think since he came to the conclusion of the deal, he's made some comments about, you know, it's not going to be a, free for all and it's not going to be a hellscape or whatever um, because I think he's concerned that advertisers are going to flee and that's at the end of the day that's how Twitter makes money it's not from you and I tweeting that's for sure you do need those ad dollars but what are his current decisions suggesting from the firing of executives looming staff layoffs to the message we were just talking about to advertisers talking about his love for humanity yeah, I mean, yeah, love for humanity is is great and everything, but I think the message he was trying to send is, please continue advertising on my platform. Um, and the firings, you know, not a big surprise. I don't think he was a big fan of the Twitter CEO. And to be honest, lots of people weren't even before Elon Musk came along. So that one was not a big surprise. Um, he definitely is going to want to put his own stamp on the company he's going to want his own people running it maybe he's going to run it uh i don't know he, it's not like he has a lot going on really so no just tesla and spacex but like you said he's not really opening up about what his plans are so we'll have to i guess just keep checking in and taking it day by day i could be wrong but i honestly don't think he knows what he's going to do with it i think he wanted it and i think in a way, it, it seems odd to say this about a company that's worth $45 billion, but I think in a way it's a toy. I think he, he wants to play around with it, and I think he wants to experiment with it, and I think he thinks it's valuable in some sort of broad way, but I don't honestly think he, that he knows exactly what he's going to do with it. Well, thank you so much for chatting all things Elon with us tonight, Matthew. Sure. Well, I'm happy to, and uh, it'll be fascinating to watch, that's for sure.